One of the best parts about living in a great neighborhood like this is the neighbors. But not everybody wants to see their neighbors all of the time. Like these homeowners. They started working from home during the pandemic and now they realize they want a little extra privacy when they're at home. So we're here today building privacy screens on two sides of their yard. We're creating custom panels made from a wood alternative that's mostly made from rice husks because not only do they want to add a little privacy, they also want to add some visual interests for them and their neighbors, but without adding any extra home maintenance on the weekends. So when we're done, they'll be able to enjoy their backyard deck with a little extra privacy, but without being unneighborly to their neighbors. <laughs> Bracing the fence panels. I use a material called furring strips or strapping, and it does two things for me. One, it's eight feet, so it shows me the actual width of my panel. It also shows me the overlap I want to get when we start installing the acre privacy screen. Finally, it secures everything left and right, and an angle brace here pulls me plumb this way, so I'm plumb in all four axes. Now that all the post holes are dug on this side of the yard, we're ready to backfill all the dirt into the holes, and then we can build the panels. working on their back deck, but the best place to put it is right here. So we're gonna have to remove this railing, we're gonna replace it with a privacy screen, it's gonna match the one we're building on the other side of the yard. So part of what we're going to bump up against when we do our deck privacy screen in this portion of the yard is the deck railing is mitered here. So I've got a long point and a short point. I'm going to surface mount the western red cedar posts to the band joist here. In doing so, it will change the relationship of this plane to this plane. So what we're going to have to do is add a transition to get us from here back over to here after I cut the tip of the miter off. The things you find once you get into it. The secret is in not making mistakes or in not foreseeing everything. It's having ways to make the unintended look purposeful in the finished product. At least that's the story I tell myself. Come on, baby. That can't be just one screw, but it is. There we go. Bye.
Long story short, after conversations with the homeowner, pictures they showed me, pictures I showed them of other privacy screens I've built, we settled on a design that looks kind of like this. So I balanced efficiency in use of materials, efficiency in time, the look they were after, and the materials that I had to come up with this. And this is different than something like this, but what it amounts to is a full-size template. I was able to cut this, place it in the lawn, show them, and get the thumbs up. So this is what we're going to install. And the privacy screen is just that, a privacy screen, not a wall. Generous spacing, multiple widths of slats, and both sides of it look exactly the same as each other for both neighbors, right down to a little detail to dress up and finish off the posts. We finished building the privacy screen on that side of the yard, so now we're ready for this side of the yard. We've removed the railing and we're ready to go. And what's really cool about Acre by Modern Mill is that it's resistant to weather, water, pests, and rot, but it also accepts stain and paint beautifully. So the homeowners will be able to stain the new privacy screen to match the rest of the deck. <laughs> We've kept the pattern the same for the privacy screen on both sides of the yard, but here there's going to be a gate. We're going to flip the pattern and make it vertical. Mark made these custom post caps not only to protect the posts from weather, but to also create the sophisticated finished look for the homeowner. Just the final few touches and this backyard deck will be ready for the homeowners to enjoy a cozy spot in their backyard to work, but with a little bit more privacy. Now that we're done, we're on to the next one. Mm -hmm.